You know, I've never tried to give you guys the impression that I'm right about anything all the time, so hopefully this won't be a huge surprise to a lot of you that I feel somewhat wrong about Tesla's decision to remove ultrasonic sensors. I was fairly critical of it in the past when it first happened, and there's still definitely some drawbacks from that decision, like even today, if you want to access features like Summon or Smart Summon, those still only work if you have a vehicle with ultrasonic sensors and Elon's been promising that they're gonna add actually Smart Summon in an update soon, but it's yet to come. And again, this is nearly two years after removing ultrasonic sensors from their vehicles, but as far as Park Assist goes, I've got to admit, it's gotten really, really good lately. Like, finally, they let you have the option, you know, my car, I took delivery just about a month before they removed ultrasonic sensors, and for a while, I was like, ha, yes, I got in at a good time, I got my vehicle with the the ultrasonics right before they took them away so I could still access all of those features as I wish but just about a month or two ago they finally added the option for me to use Tesla Vision if I prefer and I turned it on just to give it a try just to see how Tesla Vision based Park Assist works in all kinds of different situations and yeah I'll admit it's actually gotten pretty dang accurate. I will confess especially when it comes to parallel parking or parking along a curve Tesla Vision has gotten so good at figuring out what is drivable space and utilizing that occupancy network to remember where things are even as they fall out of the camera's feed. And I'm sure Tesla has a bunch of data that they've trained this neural net on, but it's something that I thought was going to suck and never be as good as having ultrasonics. But now I'm actually comfortably willing to say publicly that I have the option in my car to use Tesla Vision or ultrasonics, and I am now actively choosing most of the time to use Tesla Vision. There's still the occasion instance in which ultrasonics probably perform better where it mainly comes down to when you're pulling in forward to a parking space because there's just not a lot of camera visibility in front of that front bumper and that was everybody's main concern right when Tesla got rid of the ultrasonics as well what about when some object gets right in front of the car you know the cameras can't see it all that great and I do still see it as a blind spot for the cameras I hope they add bumper cameras soon and while the accuracy of the occupancy network has not been great for the front I will admit it's been better and safer than expected and after switching to Tesla vision based I have not had any run-ins where ultrasonics would have gotten the job done better like Tesla vision is not the most accurate thing in the world but I think it's worth mentioning that neither were the ultrasonic sensors like there were a ton of situations where the ultrasonics claimed I was about to hit something and I wasn't or even the ultrasonics that weren't able to measure the distance from things again like I said especially when parallel parking or parking along Along the curb. Ultrasonics basically weren't helpful at all in those situations and I kind of understand why Tesla wanted to remove them. You know, it's a lot of sensors. There's a lot of additional wiring and color matching that has to go on that was probably clogging up service centers, especially whenever servicing a front bumper or a rear bumper. All of these extra wires and color match sensors that they had to keep track of. Whereas you scrap all that, it simplifies the manufacturing and the service of the vehicle quite a bit. Sure, we all disagree that Tesla should should have, you know, figured out how to make Tesla Vision work before removing the ultrasonics because we had many, many months there where Teslas basically didn't have any park assist and Tesla said, oh yeah, we'll add it back in a future software update. That was still pretty frustrating and they still haven't figured out Summon and Smart Summon, but they have figured out vision-based auto park, which I have tested myself and while it's not faster necessarily than parking yourself, it is definitely much, much faster than the old version of auto park that did use the ultrasonic sensors and as far as as when it's appropriate to remove sensors and replace them with camera-based features, I think there's a good chance that Tesla wouldn't have had as great a data set if they would have kept ultrasonics on the car until Tesla Vision was ready. It's kind of one of those situations where, you know, the early bird can only fly if it's pushed out of the nest. Like, I don't know if Tesla Vision-based Park Assist would have been as good if ultrasonics would have been left around. Everybody would have kept falling back on those. And it's kind of the same concept with the software team. Like, you have to get this right because there's no other choice and I'm sure like Monroe and Associates said it saved well over $100 in the cost of materials per vehicle which really stacks up when you're building hundreds of thousands if not millions of cars per year and even though I'm somewhat of a skeptic when it comes to you know level 5 robo taxis or autonomous vehicles replacing the need for car ownership I will admit that there's other perks as well to Tesla doubling down on Tesla vision for one I really love how great they are at measuring when to turn off your blink 
blinker when you're crossing over a lane. That'd be very difficult to do in any other vehicle because they don't have Tesla vision. And now, once again, there's some cost savings involved with having this full self-driving computer that's able to interpret its surroundings so accurately. It means that companies like Tesla can easily drop all of their ultrasonic sensors, save a bunch of money on manufacturing and service, and just use eight cameras in an occupancy network to give you a fairly accurate representation of your surroundings. Again, not the most accurate thing in the world, and definitely not as easy or as nice as just having a bird's eye view in a surround camera system, which I've experienced on other vehicles. That's usually much, much better. But Tesla's occupancy network and their vision-based park assist is not that far behind, which is crazy impressive considering how many blind spots there are in that camera setup. And that system really only works with Tesla because of how great their full self-driving computer is and their neural net training and how they double down on software making good use of little hardware and that's not something that anybody else can really just copy or replicate in my opinion everybody else is probably going to continue to have to use ultrasonic sensors because they can't get tesla vision in their car that easily i know tesla claims like oh yeah we'll license it out to other third parties but they've said on earnings calls and stuff at the bare minimum that's still like a three four year process and a lot of automakers just don't have that kind of time so once again another cost saving advantage and huge software advantage to Tesla that I'll admit I was skeptical of early on. I was like, I don't think you should be removing these sensors yet. And in hindsight, I'm starting to realize now you probably had to either to keep the assembly line running or improve your margins and also to get the software team to really push for a consistent, reliable park assist visualization that actually does work in a vast majority of circumstances. So even though I have the option to use both, I'm using Tesla Vision more and more because it genuinely works and is effective at helping me park in various circumstances. So here's hoping that we finally get Summon and Smart Summon added back as well, but Park Assist and Auto Park are showing a lot of promise for vision-based systems, and hopefully Tesla is able to license that out or other companies are able to replicate it soon. What do you guys think of Tesla's vision-based Auto Park and Park Assist solutions? Feel free to let me know down in the comments below, and thank you to everybody supporting this channel directly. Seriously, helps us out a ton, as does just watching these videos. So thanks again. Have an excellent rest of your day.